So, why are there two Eids? Well, they both celebrate different aspects of the Muslim faith. The Islamic calendar follows the 12-month lunar calendar, which means the dates of both Eids change every year. But Eid al-Adha is always a little over two months after Eid al-Fitr. On both Eids, many Muslims will go to special prayers at their local mosque and have a day of celebrations with family and friends. Eid al-Fitr comes first and means festival of the breaking of the fast. This Eid is celebrated at the end of Ramadan, a month when many adult Muslims fast. Fasting is important for Muslims during Ramadan as it allows them to devote themselves to their faith and come closer to Allah or God. It was originated by the Prophet Muhammad and is celebrated for one to three days depending on the country. Next comes Eid al-Adha, which is generally considered the holier of the two festivals. Eid al-Adha means festival of the sacrifice and is celebrated just over two months after Eid al-Fitr, at the same time where many Muslims perform the Hajj pilgrimage. Hajj is one of the five pillars of Islam. These are the five key acts which every Muslim is expected to do in their lifetime. Muslims are required to make the journey to Mecca for Hajj at least once in their life if they're physically able and can afford to do so. And that's why there are two Eids. <laughs>